Nearly half of all home heating fires occur in the months of December, January and February. That's according to the National Fire Protection Association. With that ice storm on its way, we know plenty of you will be reaching for heaters. Evening Edition's Christiana Ford shares life-saving portable heater tips to get you through the winter storm. As the ice storm makes its way across Lexington, it's not only going to be freezing outside, but it'll be cold inside as well. It can still get to freezing or close to it inside your house if you go several days without power. And the problem that we are looking at for especially Saturday morning is there's a chance we go below zero. Freezing cold or perfect conditions to bring out the space heaters and the dangers that come along with them. Georgetown Fire responding to a fire just Tuesday night that involved a space heater. Owenton County Fire shared a photo the same night of a picture of an extension cord that exploded after having a space heater plugged into it. Lexington Fire responding to 20 structure fires since the year began. They say three were caused by candles, another one by a space heater. Heating equipment is the second most common cause of home fire fatalities. According to the National Fire Protection Association, on average, 500 people have died, more than 1,300 people injured, and $1.1 billion in property damage from fires involving heating equipment like space heaters. That's why we took one of our space heaters to the Lexington Fire Department to show you how to properly use these during the winter storm so that you can keep you and your family safe because we know so many of you will be using these come Thursday and Friday if we have power. 19 year firefighter Todd Houston says you want to analyze your space heater. Does it have frayed cords? Does the unit have automatic shutoff if it tips over or overheats? Is it full of dust like mine? You want to make sure they're clean. So in the back where the air comes in, make sure that it's free of dust. Once you get it clean, Houston says you need to remember space heaters need space. So it's best to have them three foot with a three foot radius around them so things can't fall into them and keep it in a non traffic area so it doesn't get knocked over. You want to make sure to plug the space heater into a direct outlet and not an extension cord. Because a lot of times the extension cords can overheat if you're pulling that much energy through them. Houston says as long as they're used the right way, space heaters can be a good option. But if your power does go out, he says you don't want to use the stove to keep yourself warm. A lot of times people try to use that. They'll turn the oven on and use the oven to try to heat the house. That's not recommended at all. But blankets, if you're going to go out and get anything, Houston says to make sure you have a lot of them just in case. Christiana Ford, Evening Edition.